Your Android is a handheld computer. And just as your desktop or laptop would get bogged down if you're running a whole bunch of programs simultaneously, the same thing happens when people get what I call app happy, downloading dozens of apps and letting them run simultaneously, often using background services and syncing to things behind the scenes like your Google account or your 3G network. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to keep your phone running really sleek, really efficiently, and really fast. All right, the first thing you can do is from your drop-down screen on the main window, depending what kind of phone you have, you see you have a slider kind of screen that can pull down. And this is just a really handy screen to just see what's going on as far as what's active. I keep my mobile data going as well as auto rotate because I use my phone in landscape mode whenever possible. I have GPS turned off. I don't use Bluetooth. Windows slider will also show you if Wi-Fi is on or if it's detected or not detected. Turn off Wi-Fi when you're not using it. Turning off Wi-Fi will increase your battery life considerably and it also frees up the processor. In this slide uh, window, you also see notifications, like I have a Google update, and you can clear um, this window as well to get rid of the notifications. Next, on your desktop, it's a good idea to minimize your icons. If you notice, I only have a camera icon because I use my camera a lot, and my 3G watchdog automatically puts up a very small icon there as far as my data usage. But other than that, I access all my apps and programs from the blue square in the bottom lower tray. But if you notice, I don't have those piled up on my desktop. A lot of icons on the desktop people uses both battery and processing power. So check that out and you can remove your icons by selecting them and dragging them into the uh, lower tray. Task Manager is your best friend with an Android. So get to know Task Manager. now. I was helping a friend a little while ago who has um, a Samsung Android and she also has a tablet, a Google Nexus tablet, and these principles apply for both products. Again, Task Manager shows us what apps are running. Now here I'm in my active application uh, window. You can see I've got my browser running and it's, it's red. It's, it's redlining because it's using a lot of CPU power. I've got Minecraft and I've got my camera. If I'm not using those, I'm going to click exit all and that's going to close down those apps and free up that processing power. So definitely check out what's running in your task manager. You may be amazed what's running in there that you've even that you've either forgotten to close or that is just running automatically. In the same task manager screen you see the RAM. Now that refers to random access memory. Now that is processor memory. This doesn't have to do with SD card memory but it's it's memory that your processor is using actively and it's a good idea to clear that memory every once in a while. Um, I was advising a friend to do this and she said well won't that erase my my apps or erase stuff on my SD card? I said no. It's totally different. It has to do with the RAM that your processor uses. It has nothing to do with what's stored on your SD card. So you can clear memory and that will um, stop a lot of processes that may be running in the background as well. And you can also access your SD um, card um, to see what's available as far as memory just to the right of the RAM you see the um, SD icon. And when you click the downloaded button you can see the apps that you've downloaded. It's a great idea people to uninstall any apps that you don't use. If you don't use an app on a regular basis it's probably a good idea just to get rid of it because apps can often use background services, things that are running in the background, including connecting to your 3G network or perhaps syncing to your Google account. And you don't need that. You don't need any of those things running in the background unless it's really critical. Now here are three apps that I use all the time. They come up right away when I click the icon. Wolfram Alpha for, for math problems, Adobe Reader for PDF, 
and uh, SwiftKey, which is the keyboard that is my favorite. So those aren't going anywhere, but I just want to show you, you can see all of your apps from this downloaded screen and uninstall any that you aren't using. Say you tried out a game for a little while, you're not using it anymore, get rid of it. The settings menu is very important. And you can get a little more detail from the settings menu than you can in Task Manager, especially regarding apps. Um, if you click on applications here, you can see what dependencies those apps are using that I referenced earlier. All right, clicking on the accounts and sync from this window, you'll see background data and auto sync. Now, for the for the most efficiency, for the most processor efficiency, just select background data. This is going to allow your apps to use the services that they require when they're running. But uncheck auto sync because that is going to uh, prevent data just coming in indiscriminately when your apps, when you're not using the apps actively. So again, select background data, uncheck auto sync. And also below auto sync, you can see manage accounts. Now, I don't have this screen slid down all the way, but in, for mine, below manage accounts is my Google Gmail account. I do not have my Google account synced with my phone. A lot of people do. A lot of people really like to have their email notifications coming up on their Android and anything else relating to Google. And that's using a lot of processing power when you sync to Google. I choose not to. When I check my email on my Android, I just sign out, just like I would on my desktop. So, but that's up to you, but I, I advise if you really don't need to be syncing to Google, um, it may be a good idea just to sign in and out depending on your usage, depending on when you wanna check your email. But again, that's right below the auto sync button. You can set that up under manage accounts. If your phone freezes or if you feel like your phone is running slow or if your browser is running slow and you've, and, you've, and you've shut it down and you've cleared the RAM, the best thing to do at that point is reboot your phone because again, your phone is a handheld computer and just as you would reboot your computer when things get buggy or laggy and then the whole system refreshes, same thing with your phone. Um, and it's probably a good idea to reboot your phone occasionally anyway after updates, etc. But you'll find invariably that rebooting your device, everything will run really fast and really efficiently. Thanks for checking this video. Please like and subscribe. Would really like to have you as a new subscriber to my channel.